Guess who's Mac? Mac again. Return of the Mac. As you can see, we've got some Mac and Cheese Bites from Iceland. Obviously, they are new, so I had to test them out. They look absolutely gorgeous. I love Mac and Cheese. Let's hope they're as cheesy as Connor MacGregor. <laughs> oh my God. Now these were £2.25, so it's not bad value, but you only get eight of them. £2.25 for eight. They best be tasty. They do look nice on the pack though, don't they? You can see they are exclusive to Iceland. They are new. You get eight of them in the pack and they are from the TGI Fridays range. Now I've never been to that restaurant before, so I've never tried these mac and cheese bites, but I do love mac and cheese. Cooking instructions there. I am going to be cooking them in the air fryer. So I'll be putting them on about 170 for about 20 minutes they're going to take to cook. Look at that long list of ingredients as well. Jesus Christ, they've got a lot of things in them. They're not going to be healthy, are they? Fat per mac and cheese bite. 4.1 grams of fat just in one bite. You know what time it is. Thumbnail time. Thumbnail over. Let's crack them open and see what they are like. We've got a double one there. Double bubble. That one's rare. Okay, we'll get a single one out. So you can see them there, they are small. Let's hope they're packed full of mac and cheese. They look quite nice as well, don't they? I think they are gonna look like that once they're cooked. Now we have got eight of them. It does cheese me off when they say you get eight and you only get seven or six. I feel like you've been ripped off. Just feels like you've been lied to, doesn't it? So there they are, the pretty little things in the air fryer. See you soon. Let's go. Now we've just got to wait for 16 minutes until it is done. Actually, we've got to turn it halfway through. So we've got eight minutes and then we'll have to turn it. Now, I was going to make a bicycle out of macaroni and cheese. My partner laughed her head off at me. You should have seen her face when I passed her. <laughs> it's getting to that time of year again, isn't it? It's getting cold. People will have to stop calling it macaroni and cheese and call it macaroni and sneeze instead. <laughs> These have only been in the air fryer a couple of minutes, say about four or five minutes, and already you can start to smell the breadcrumbs, you can smell the cheese. It is an absolute delight. Turn food, let's do this. See what they look like halfway through baking. Don't look like they've cooked much, do they? But we'll turn them. There's a bit of cheese leakage going on here as well. Yes, I know, we've got to put the lid back on. Give me two seconds. So we'll just quick, briefly turn them over so they can cook all the way through. Turned over, see you in eight minutes. Two, one, blast off! They are done. Let's have a look at these then. Oh, the smell is lovely when you take that lid off. Hmm, so, let's have a look at these. We'll get them out and we'll have a taste. Now, either I can't count or two of these have been getting jiggy while they've been in the air fryer and they've given birth to one more because there is nine. I swear I counted eight before. It says on there approximately eight. So, you know, we've got a bit of a bargain here, haven't we? Now, what do you think they look like? Do you think they look like that? I think they're not, they're not too bad, are they? They do not look too bad at all. We're going to cut one open in a second and we'll have a look. You are the chosen one to get beheaded. Let's hold one up to the camera, see what we got. We've got a bit of mac and cheese in there, haven't we? It looks nice and gooey. Now I'm just gonna let it cool down a second and I'll give it a taste. Cheese is absolutely lethal when it's warm, isn't it? Oh, that's like a party in my mouth, that is. The cheese flavor is so strong. Mmm. They are proper nice. Really strong cheese that is, and it leaves a nice aftertaste at the back of your throat as well. Will I be buying these again? 100% I will. Mm. 
The macaroni is nice and soft as well. Uh, there's some spices in the breadcrumbs as well. I'm not sure what they put in, pepper. But it works well. Jesus Christ, I am impressed with them. It says there, I don't know if you can see it, but it says mac and cheese bites, macaroni pasta in cheddar, and Monterey Jack and mozzarella cheese sauce with a hint of chipotle chili. That is what the kick is. It, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's not a strong kick at all. Uh, it's just a tiny little kick that gives it that flavour. Mm, encased in a crisp breadcrumb coating. Oh, these are absolutely gorgeous. Should I leave my other half some or not? I don't know, I don't want to. <laughs> That's not me being selfish, but these are probably the nicest things I've reviewed on this channel, to be fair. So let's have another one. Wow. Just wow. Lost for words. That's unlike me. So honestly, they are the best things I've tried on this channel. At 27 pence per bite. That's what it works out at. Are they value for money? Um, probably not value for money. But the quality just makes up for it. I would pay that for the quality because they are absolutely gorgeous. Have I mentioned they're delicious? Let me know. Do you think I liked them or not? <laughs> Have I kind of given that away? But yeah, 100% definitely be buying these again let me know in the comment section if you have tried them as well and what you thought of them i best save her a couple and i or else i'll be in the doghouse again i spend more time in the doghouse than i do in the normal house so i don't want to be out there again because it's going to be cold tonight as well if you did like this content then please like comment share subscribe if you didn't like it then please do the same as it'll just help my channel grow and well yeah that's it that is the review over and i'll see you in the next one